good afternoon more medic one today i have a toro recycler on the bench it's a pretty old one um it's actually got the overhead valve for this uh, brakes and stratton engine it just doesn't look like one but uh go ahead and loosen your bolts and hold the shroud on you don't have to worry about the gas tank on this one uh to get it back this is on the back of the motor there's a screw here there's one here and one here and this whole top will come off show you how to replace the ignition module I'm gonna make a link in the description below on how to test the ignition but uh, today we're just going to uh, go ahead and show you how to replace it we'll go ahead and remove these two bolts right here they're 5 16 head or 8 millimeter I lied they're quarter inch headed screws go ahead and remove your coil and your kill lead right there here's your kill lead wire Again, make sure that this wire is good from the kill switch here to the coil. When you put the new coil on, you want about 10 thousandths gap. You can use a business card. Let me show you. It's about 9 thousandths there. Just depends on how thick it is. There we go. Got pretty much in the middle of the card. Now we're at 10. So a business card is sufficient enough to uh, gap your coil to your flywheel. You'll notice that the uh, you can mount this coil either way, but it only goes one way. It says right there, this side out. So it's gonna be mounted just like that. And if you see this side, it says cylinder side. So you can't miss it up. Go ahead and set your coil down on there and get your screws finger tight. Go ahead and rotate the flywheel around where your magnets are uh, in line with the coil. Right there. Now they do make a tool for this that I like to use it because it's made out of metal. And this is also 10 thousandths. And it'll actually stick to the magnet onto the flywheel. And you just loosen up your bolts. And let this coil fall forward and then just tighten the screws up don't overdo it because you're screwing into aluminum and you could possibly strip it out the new ignition module is not going to come with a spark plug cap you can either order you a new one or just use the old one off the old coil here just pull it off with your fingers it'll come off it might be a little tough but it'll come go ahead and snake your wire back down through the cylinder fins and hook up your uh, kill wire here and remove your tool ten thousandths like I said while I go business card works just fine in my last video which I'm going to post in the description below uh, I had several people ask me well how in the world were you turning that motor over so fast and a lot of you were right it was just a drill uh, with a 3 8 uh, socket adapter in it and then I put from that a 3 8 to a half inch so I can go up to a 15 16. They may make an adapter right here to go from the drill straight to a half inch drive, but uh, let's spin it over and see if we have spark. I concur, we have good spark. So now we can put the spark plug back in it and put the engine shrouds on it. And then uh, that'll conclude the, uh, how to replace the ignition module on a Briggs & Stratton engine or pretty much all two uh, four cycle engines, excuse me, uh, and two cycle if you want to go that route. Uh, Lawn Boy two cycles are the same. Pretty much across the board it's 10 thousandths gap. Some engines are a little bit uh, less gap in between the coil and the flywheel. But uh, we'll get it buttoned back together here, and uh, we'll get it cranked up and running for you. In case you were wondering, that part number on that coil was uh, 802574. That's a very common one. There's a lot of uh, L-head and overhead valve engines. Go ahead and get it cranked up for you. This has actually got a choke on it. Choke it. Let's see if I can pull it one-handed here. Oh, you're going 
surf a little bit, aren't you? As a technician, uh, you did what was needed. You had to get you had to get the spark before the engine would run. And now you see that it surges a little bit. And uh, now you just have to call the customer and say, hey, uh, got the coil on there. The engine is now running. Uh, I recommend going through the carburetor or doing a tune-up to it. That way you can upsell your uh, your service. But uh, the coil's working. The engine's now running. Go ahead and give it some gas. If you have any questions about Briggs and Stratton engines or how to replace ignition modules, let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a good day.